All right, I'm not going to get on my soapbox here, but obviously the problem of automation, robots, unemployment, it's still all coming to a head. Truckers are going to be laid off, waitresses and secretaries, and pretty much 90% of everybody once all this sets in. It's going to define the next several decades of our lives if we're still around. At least that's what they continue to say. And that's why you've seen in the news, just as the film Obsolete talks about, all these Silicon Valley executives, these important people, are talking very seriously about how to organize the giving away of free money, how to create a universal basic income, because the internet, automation, etc., is pretty much doing away with labor as we know it, and there's obviously going to be so many people struggling. Of course, Elon Musk has also been talking about it, one of the most well-known billionaires and tech innovators, and he says universal basic income is going to be necessary. So that's how much of a concern it is. He says, I think we'll end up doing universal basic income. It's going to be necessary, and quite obviously, he's got his finger on the pulse. He's been inside the Trump administration. And for better or for worse, Elon Musk is going to be part of all the technology that's coming forward from space to smart homes, etc. And so these are all the factors that Melissa and I brought up. There's going to be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. That's a quote from Elon Musk. That robots are just going to be incredibly efficient, very cheap at getting the job done, and we won't be needed. And Elon Musk says he wants to be clear, this isn't what he wants to happen this is what he thinks probably will happen. So that's why you got Sam Altman of Bilderberg and Y Combinator. You've got Facebook co-founder Chris Hughes, who incidentally was also at Bilderberg. All of them are saying that automation is going to increase society's wealth, but it's going to screw over having a job. And so all these elitists are planning on how to take care of you. Sounds good, doesn't mean it will be good. But the one other thing is that Elon Musk also recognizes the main point, really what we were trying to get at in Obsolete, is that it isn't enough just to give things away, have it trickle down from the top. The problem that has come up again and again in history, whether through welfare experiments with ghetto populations or whether with animal experiments in quote-unquote utopian confinements with infinite food, they found the same problem, that things completely decide send into madness when people don't have a purpose anymore, when animals don't have a purpose. He has some skepticisms about the effects of universal basic income because he has voiced concerns about what would happen to people's sense of purpose if they had less of a need or no need to work. Quote, if there's no need for your labor, what is your meaning? Elon Musk said. He said, quote, do you feel useless? That's a much harder problem to deal with. It sounds like Elon Musk watched obsolete. I don't know, maybe he did. He's making the same exact point that we did. There's going to be a major, major problem with this new system. It's not going to be a utopia just because everything is paid for. Look at our other video of how they want you to live in 2030 when you can own nothing. And this isn't just about working in a factory 14 hours like a slave. This isn't just about pushing papers on a desk. This is about people who want to do something with their lives. And this system has become robotic and automated and hugely collectivized. It's a gigantic system that runs off of efficiency and decisions that are supposedly for the greater good of most of society. And that really works against individuals. If you want to do your own thing, an independent business, do the thing that you feel you're most talented at, maybe it'll be easier with universal basic income, or maybe we'll see a point at which a lot of people are wanting to give up. It could stifle people because they'll feel like they have no power in the system, no real way to change things. The elite know this and it's just, it's exactly what we pointed out in Obsolete. If you go watch it, that's what we're getting at. Sounds great to have everything for free, uh, to have robots in the system take care of everything, but doesn't work so well in the model of history or experimentation. The world is evolving. Becoming more efficient, smarter, cars, faster, waiterless restaurants. Advances in technology are forever changing the way we interact with our reality. We're talking about the American dream this morning. I do believe in the American dream. Great American dream. A, B, C, B, C. Small, medium, and large paper, glass papers. 500 channels, but nothing's on. House loan, car loan, student loan. But what will happen to everyone when what they do for a living gets replaced by something that can do it better. With advances in artificial intelligence. Victim of what economists have called technological unemployment. The job market is tough. Plants are closing and employees are being laid off. The value of human labor 
is dropping to near zero. We are taking control. That family planning is connected with employment. Employment has a connection. Efficiency. Technological progress. Automation. Robots. We are more valuable than you. Algorithms. Delivery drones. They have engineered a future that doesn't need us. When business falls off, I'm going to be applying for benefits. Yes, you can. Are you going to sit by and wait for the government to just take care of you? Or are you ready to understand why they don't need us? Plan your future before they plan it for this you. This is the next evolution. You cannot turn against the tide. Man's time has passed. The struggle is about maintaining your our humanity. Your future, I belong to us. Efficiency.